these boxes. Um, these are what they're going to look like, hopefully. I think we have to yeah. <laughs> okay. So I've got a red one with gold. That's Millie's tail, Mermaid Rosetta. I have a, a rainbow, I guess, pride nice. rainbow road tail with little white dots. It's rainbow. And midnight black. We don't really know. So <laughs> the blue and the purple are actually neon reflective, so they should glow in the dark under black light. And the yellow is wow. gold. So there should be pinks and orange. So like a midnight sunset. Yeah, I don't know if we're holding this in the right place. And mine's blue. I don't know. And this is Lizzie, so it's blue and gold. It's not yellow, it's gold. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so we got this from Water Song uh, Mermaid Tales. We were sort of the first bulk deal and her last bulk deal. We love you, Katie. Thank you, Katie. Thank she, you. She may or may not start making them again in the future, but for now she's just making really pretty bras and so forth. And there should be a few of those in here too, so we're going to see what happens. So let's okay. do Don't in. stab them. <laughs> oh my god. So these are how the boxes arrived. Um, yeah, so they're a bit destroyed. We're hoping that the tails are fine. Thanks, FedEx. Rainbow ones are here. So these are my. Yes. Uh, Okay, let's open the other box first. Alright, we're opening this one as well. You, you guys haven't had a tail yet, so... Oh right. no, we can... Let's, let's do let's open this one! Okay. Hang on. One so the bean... Oh, oh my god, yes! Oh, this is the god. rainbow one! And this is... Who's this? Is this yours? Yeah, that's the black one. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah. Okay, no dice. No, no dice. No. This. <gasps> oh, I'm actually loving it. Oh my god! Wow. That's so good. Oh my god, I can't believe they're here. This is surreal. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've been waiting for a while. I actually ordered these while I was in Canada. So, um, originally the plan was to get them in July and then a whole bunch of stuff happened and this didn't happen. <laughs> As, which is normal for, you know, mermaid tails. Really? Look what I found. Ooh, I don't think that one's mine. I don't, uh, that oh. one might be mine? I don't know. Oh, I okay. feel like okay, she put my stuff wrong. in this box. And yeah. So, originally I was only getting one tail. with money so then I ended up having to get two what a shame <laughs> oh my god it's beautiful oh it's just like my design okay I'm gonna do you want to help take a close to the camera yes Ooh. okay so if you look closely it look it's an individual scale feel I can't remember what Katie called them uh, stingray stingray manta scales? ray manta, manta ray. ray scales it's got my little polka dots on them. Where's Beautiful gold. I'm just gonna. It's under the thing. Uh, nice oh. flippiness. Oh my god. Oh. Ah. This has dropped way too exciting. Yeah. Heads are falling down. So, yeah, I good. think actually I was a bit worried to be honest, but this is just as bright as I wanted it. It's even got the orange in the right place. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. It's beautiful. Next one. Oh. All right. Next one. Next. This is also Hannah's tail. Oh. Oh, let's do another one first. Let's do one of yours. Then. All right. Okay. Where's the Swiss Army knife gone? This is a Swiss Army knife from Switzerland. Thank you, Joel. <laughs> Our lovely photographer. I love them. How am I going to open this one? This I, nice oh, I'm so scared they're going to like break. Sort of, sort of just want to strip and put it on. I'm doing it. Not in front, not on the video. I don't care. It's been too long. I'll do it over my bra. I mean, over my shirt. It's interesting trying to work out US sizes and Australian sizes in regards to boobs. Our titties. <laughs> I think it fits. Yay! Sort of. Why don't I make bras so complex? Mine's first! Yes, yours is first. Oh, mine's first. It's not, okay, so that's a bit dull. I don't think mine is wrapped up. Okay. So we have a tail that hasn't been wrapped up in any sort of protective stuff other than the box. And as you can see, the box has been pretty mangled. I thought, I thought I actually sent more money to get some extra bubble wrap. I might just. Hey, Joel, do you want to come and take a look? Hmm? 
Okay. You st can you stay there so we the camera's in the same place? Yeah, what? And she's just like chucked it in here. Seriously. Yeah. Um. Look right. At, look at her edges here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we can fix it ourselves because obviously we're not going to pay to send it back to the states. No, let's take it out and so see. Each box ended up costing us seven hundred and five dollars each box when we went through customs, so that was fun as well. Oh my gosh! We were prepared, but um, at least it's, it is it is really beautiful. Like I feel like the colours quite accurate. It's actually so it's trapped under, is it? Yeah. No, she's folded it. Dodge job. Okay. I'm not happy. All right. Oh well, the fins are cute. They yes. Are. She's got front I feel the gold's the shade of gold that we asked for. I think. Yes. A bit. All right. It's not too fond of that little paint job at the top. Era, but that yeah. could be because it wasn't Let's packed it properly, right? Yeah. There's lots of glitter on it. The whole thing's very sparkly. Oh, that is heavy. So, um, yours out. do you want to explain what's going on? Um, we might just pause the video yeah. and have a, have a bit of a quiet talk. But are you, do you like the fins? I ordered her fins as a surprise. Yeah, I like the fins. This is my assistant for Mermaid okay. Tempest and Friends. Oh, okay. She's we're gonna. To okay, we're gonna stop the video now. Um, it is accurate. There's just a lot of areas on the tail which, quite frankly, haven't been done with much care. Um, so there's red splattered all over the gold here. Um, it's a bit, you know, stuff's flaking off it. It hasn't been sealed properly in a, in a lot of these gaps. Oh my god. You know, it's, it's crumbling. Um, but the, you can tell that the monofin's in there well. And the drainage holes are good. Um, where was the other area? Here. You know, that's clearly, that looks like a tail that's been used a million times, you know, like my tail I've had for five years hasn't even done that. And it's just... There's a lot of, um, silicon errors. I feel like she just hasn't really peeled off the excess before she's painted it. Like, look, in photos, it's going to look beautiful. But as a piece of art that you've paid, you know, thousands of dollars for, and you have to remember that we paid the Australian conversion rate too, so that's basically double. Um, you know, it's it's not really good enough for what we paid. Um, but yeah, okay. But it's still a beautiful tail, and it's going to fit you. It looks like the right size. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like the shine, and the scales look beautiful. This can easily be fixed. Yeah. Um that we shouldn't have to fix it, that's the point. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's, let's get, get this, out. yeah. Because we'll go one by one. Shall we do the blue tail? Oh, blue? Oh, oh, the... Let's do yours. Yeah. Okay. I want to see that one. So this is the, um, oh, it's this one. So this is the tail I originally designed, and this is the one I, for me, I care about most. So, the colours, in a photo I was sent, the colours didn't look too bright, and I was a bit worried. Um, but I sort of I asked um, the tail designer to sort of make it a bit more bright, and I know she did spend a little extra time on it, so I'm hoping that it's now turned out alright. And later on I'll get some photos with some black lights oh, to wow. see if the neon pigment actually works. It's but in, in the box it looks awesome. So. It does. Yes. Oh my gosh. I think it's going to be so nice. Oh my god. This oh my great. god. Okay. I love the blue, and I was worried about the blue. Oh my god. Oh, it's like oh. popping out in Oh my god, okay. Uh. Okay, I don't want plastic to kill fish, but you know, whatever. Uh. Oh my god. Oh, it looks great. Oh. <laughs> So this one has a dorsal too, 
so it's, you know, extreme. We're in a public park, so there's people everywhere now, but whatever. No, I'm loving the fins. Um, the I mean, it's not as vibrant as I would have liked, but it's vibrant. Can we flip it over and see the front? Oh, <laughs> I don't want to scratch it up on this ground. Wow, that's nice. Do you want to maybe bring the camera over? Um, so you I can mean, see how they were meant to be shaped from so on this one. It's obvious she spent a lot of time on this one because I was the direct contact with her, which I find a bit not unprofessional, but a bit, you know, like obviously I care about all the tails, not just who I'm personally wearing, you know, it affects everyone. Yes. Um, so I'm going to have to talk to her about that. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything in this video because what's the point of an un unboxing tail and a review if I'm sugarcoating stuff? Um, the gold dots that I drew on the picture, um, I just, no. they were actually meant to represent some gold scales being coloured in that obviously you can't draw on a picture. So yeah, it looks like the picture, I guess, in regards to the dots, but they were meant to symbolise scales being coloured in and these were meant to be sort of circle dots not sort of love hearts paint splotches um the fins are good there was only meant to be a little bit of gold and most a lot of it was meant to be orange because you know i'm a redhead and want to be a goldfish um someone else who owns a tail has told me to double check all the fins to see that how the seam's been done yeah it's, it's not look it's not the best the way the seam's been done um, so I feel like, and you know, like this is a bit, it's not messy around the edges, but it could be a lot better. Um, lots of blobs. I asked for some glitter and she sort of just put random, random glitter. I'm someone who loves glitter though, but it doesn't look like it's actually in the, tail. the silicon. It's just sort of. That's easily fixed. No, <laughs> oh yeah, I don't mind about the glitter. I, yeah. I can put glitter anywhere. Glitter can be random. I just sort of thought that was going to be more. If you look just here, um, you see how it's shiny? The photos I got, I was under the impression that it was all sort of that shiny. Mm. Um, but you know what? Like, we did get a bulk deal, and she's been talking to us the whole time, so I honestly think, even if there are some issues, it's still been an amazing deal, and, you know, the pigment has been really good. And she's tried, she's worked really hard on them, and you know, like, she's a new tail maker. I've never had a dorsal mm. before, so I'm loving this. Yeah. And it looks like it's really good. It's on strong. It looks like it's well yeah. made. It's squidgy. It and I'm liking the blend of the purple and the pink and yeah, stuff. The blue and purple pink. Okay, let's open Liz's. <laughs> I love it though. I love it. I'm so happy. Oh, I love the bra. Oh, yeah, so. Um, you got me a bra. I, yeah, we surprised you with the bra. That was this sort of me and Katie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this one's for you. This one's mine. And I was like, Lizzie, nice. Lizzie has big tits. <laughs> Let's put something so she can feel comfortable. So okay. we've got like a. She's oh, put so like a. Oh, okay. She ordered that separately. So that's nice. That's See, cute. That's, nice. that's very. I think that's. They, they, starfish look very realistic there. That's yes, nice. They do. Do I have to? Oh, yours off. I'll pop mine. I'm sort of curious. To See how the bras match the tails, sort of. Yes. Okay, because I wanted mine to match both. So yeah, that that matches that. <laughs> So these bras, I know she is still making these bras, and they're actually, like, they're made really well. <laughs> I don't know what brand that is, but I think in America that's some sort of nice brand. I don't know, but, yeah, I'm loving the colour. And they're, you know, if they fall off the bra later, you can stick them back on. They're not going to go anywhere. Okay. Oh my god, I love how bright it is. Good. It's so bright. Okay. I wish my gold was like this, actually. Well, it's the same shade of gold. You just, did you want more up the sides or something? No, it's just this one looks much more brighter than mine. If you compare, mine looks a bit like a bit dark. Wow. So I think they're just as good quality as my Mer Taylor tail. And I feel like the customer service has been a lot better. Oh, yeah, the fins, the ankle fins. Yeah. They're on really well. Is this the blue you wanted? Because this is the blue I was imagining. Yeah, yeah. I think you, you wanted it to blend a bit more though, though, didn't you? I think so, yeah, but I thought it wasn't going to be some extra pull, but looking at it, I think it is. The, the straps? So, yeah, the straps are. So. I sort of like it. I like the symmetry. Like, yeah. 
Okay. Do we want to lay it down Look in the front? Oh, oh yes. Is that in my turn for feet? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, this one. Was... <laughs> so, I, I believe it's the thinnest monofin inside all of them. So for me, I paid extra for a bra and so did Millie. No, no, um, I got it because you paid my fit for my fins. Oh yeah, I, I surprised her by buying fins, so she got... So I got the bra instead of the fins. Yeah, and I paid extra. Oh, no, so you I bought, paid extra for my fins. So I got Millie two sets of fins and Millie purchased the a bra, bra thinking she was just getting the plain shaped tail. Yeah. Um, Lizzie's was a gift, which was really lovely from Katie, but it was a bit weird because we spent extra on this... You know, it's at least 400, 400 something. 400 and something dollars. Um, the starfish are nice. They're not painted great, but you'd probably be better off buying two starfish and um, sticking them on a bra that you decorate yourself. I just expect a little bit something there to hide, like, I mean, just to hide the fact that it's a bra. Yeah, I mean, um, that's it though. Like, because now we're going to have to spend time, which I'm fine to do, to like Sequencing stick on. It. But the ones we were sort of seeing in the pictures had like scales underneath starfish. And when she asked, you know, do you want a scale bra or a starfish bra? And I asked the girls, it sort of made sense to have like scales on the outside with the starfish on top. Mm. I know Siren Allure, Allure does this just beautifully. I love my Siren Allure bra. I mean, it yeah. fell apart, but it's, it's, it's still, it, it was a complete thing when I got it. I feel like this is, um, it would have been easier for her and probably cheaper for us if she could do that just to send us some starfish that we could stick on our tips, right? Like, um, could have made pay, pay instead. And I don't know. Yeah, the back of the flukes all look lovely. <laughs> look at that. I like it's that wet. better than the front. They feel like, I don't, I don't know about other mermaids, but I know when I'm doing like land events, I always get kids to tip water on me because then my scales feel really real and this feels really, like, it's real. really real. It's really slimy, so it's really good. Oh yeah, that does look good. Yeah, I'm loving the back of it. So yeah, it's got I like good in like copper. It looks like really good. It's like a it's like an orange tinge on the back. Yeah. Which is good with your hair, right? Yes. But the thing we're freaking out about now is this fin is not attached very well at all. It's gonna fall off. Oh yeah, I can stick my finger in it. Yeah, that's that's shit. Sorry. So Don't be, come around this side. So be bluntly honest. And it's this pink in it. <sighs> but yeah, so that's a bit upsetting. <laughs> Again. Mm. I think I'm all out of tears though now. Let's check the other one. And these are the fins that Hannah actually bought me yeah. as a gift because they've been helping her so much. They were actually meant to, I thought when I ordered them, I actually wanted them on the side, like ankle fins, but these mm. are like calf. Oh well. I think that's just been a, a talk change though. Yeah, but that's okay. They look, I like the way they sit. Like, yeah, they're really that cute. looks cute. It's very fish like. Shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, that, that can be fixed. It can yeah. be fixed. The issue is. We'll fix it. But yours wasn't even wrapped in bubble wrap. Yeah. Or it, well, none of them were in bubble wrap, and which or they didn't have beads in it or anything. You saw, like you saw them, they were yeah. just it was just cling wrap. Like um, so I think in America they call it cello wrap, but um, this one didn't even have cello wrap. So I'm honestly not surprised that it's yeah it had damage to it. I'm honestly surprised there hasn't been more damage to it. Mm. But also that could have been customs. Maybe custom opened mine. True, customs might have opened one to see what it was. Oh, that's yeah. that's true, actually. That is very true. But and still. is easily fixed and won't show um yeah so I I actually really like it and I love the white the pearl it's really pearly yeah yeah I just wish the pearl accent stayed to the fluke the fluke is I'm really happy with the body it's just the fluke it looks really dull to me mm. compared to everyone else's gold and stuff but the the gold on know. this looks like it's been a different pigment to the gold on that to me because this one has sparkles I think embedded. it's just been some more layers. Mm. Um, because I know that you do use a different type of silicon on the fluke and on yeah. the body. I don't understand how to do it, but <laughs> sort of do it. I, that might have something to do with the colour change as well. Yeah. So I, I agree, it could blend a bit better. Better. But I'm loving, like, they're actually, they're actually 
different. Each tail, the way they join to the fluke is actually unique. So the scales must, I don't know if they're individual, but if you look at this one, you see how they sort of, they're a flatter scale? Yeah. They sort of spread into the wide. Where this tail here, the scales sort of, they're rounded to match the different fluke shape. I think you mentioned you wanted to cut this bit off too, didn't you? Maybe. You hadn't decided. I, I quite like the dots. It's like mm. a butterfly. Um, yeah, okay. So these are the same flukes. So they've got the same scale. This is her newest fluke, I believe. It's going to be wide at the back. Oh, God. oh did you? Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's okay. That's sort of, that's sort of a two point hole then. Yeah. No, I, I, I guess it's hard to tell. Yeah, it's hard to tell. But you're not, you're not going to see the back anyway. Exactly. And we can always add white. So these two are the same. Can you see it from there? Yeah. I don't know what you can see. So, issue we're having with these that we've just sort of looked at is that yeah, yeah. not issue, but it's just yeah, odd that I f we sort of thought that she had a mold for the tails and then like for the fluke. Um, but they seem to be like this one's wider than this one and that one's wider than that one. I'm not sure if it's maybe my measurements are wider and they just. But the fluke I sort of thought was always the same shape. I know my two have the bigger, the bigger foot size in it but I don't know I just sort of thought that when you make molds you they're the same mold yeah I don't know which could like the edges on this are a lot gentler than like it's it's like it's been rushed it's rough yeah. and it's this is the first tail we sent in um because Millie's on top of it so <laughs> she had her design in first she had her money in first everything was in first and so like that's a bit... with like these yours look like they're actually a little bit more detailed like these little ridges here um, they seem to be there's there, well, actually, there's a ridge there tell. there's a ridge there where this one is almost just like a pencil drawn in line I don't and know I if don't it's know a if curing that's... process it might be a different type of silicone like it might be a different but it could also be an artistic choice I don't know because you know obviously I've had mine so I've like covered I wanted to cover it sort of with the uh, colours, but I want, thought it would look good with like the deep ridges in the colours and just not having those deep ridges that I expected. It looks a bit like splattered, if that makes sense. I mean, like, but this part looks really good. I think it does look like a picture. Yeah. I think I wasn't sure if you wanted like the red and then white or if you wanted to blend. I think she's mm. assumed you wanted it to blend. I, I did, yeah. I assumed you wanted it to blend. So it is blending. Um, little crack there. Yeah, there's some cracks going. I don't know. This might be. I don't know if this is a weaker type of silicon in the bottom. Um, the one thing oh, I have been told about water song tails is to look out for the edges because they are peeling away. So we're gonna have yeah. to seal poxy all that together. So it's it's interesting because the inside of it is clear silicon. Um, but like here, under the gold, it's it's red, if you can see in there. It's sort of fleshy. So it's yeah. like, which is good, I guess, so if it does peel off, the kids will just think it's like red, yeah. a mermaid vagina <laughs> or something. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, I sort of, I wasn't sure if the whole tail was red and then she painted over top of it. Because I know this mm. one, the reason we had trouble with the, the brightness was because she tried to paint over black and that takes a lot of layers. So I don't think this one's going to be a very strong tail. Color, color wise I think the color is going to flake off quite quickly um, luckily we can afford to actually get spray paint in Australia so that will work on it like it's yeah. not like it's ordering the dragon skin stuff yeah so. um, I'm liking I'm liking the way this blends your tail yeah. blends the best here yeah for sure I don't know I'm, I'm sort of like it's good that it's sort of blending but I sort of just wanted I wanted straight white lines I will yeah I wanted straight white lines I wanted the lines to be defined and everything else to be blended um, but you know it's it's not that bad yeah, I think it's it, just the little you know cracks that are up, like the actual like faults not in the painting but in the tail itself that are quite yeah. upsetting me this bit is what yeah. pisses me off a bit that's good that's what made me cry yeah like they're beautiful Katie like we do love them like it's just like you know first tale it's a bit heartbreaking yeah when it's you don't know how long it's gonna last I, I for someone like because you have never owned a tail right? no. I, I've owned a Mertaila basic silicon and mine came defaulted so I had the massive breakdown when I first opened mine to the point where 
I didn't even upload an unboxing video because I feel like the review wouldn't have been very fair because I was just extremely upset. Yeah. Um, but after five years, obviously, I've learned how to repair that tail constantly. So I know that that's an easy fix. But we are probably going to have to get some gold spray paint or something and yeah. do some more details and maybe even like some red, some maybe. lines. Like, yeah, I feel like this is a good blank canvas, not a blank canvas, but like a. I feel like you can have some fun with it and yeah. really make it your own. Yeah, you have to. But um, I am loving the blue. I'm yeah, I really like the blue. Loving the blue in photos that I was sent. I was really worried about it. It looked really dark and sort of dull, but here it's like. Really vibrant and like I thought I was gonna cry. Doing, but I do. I make costumes myself, and I have cats. Um, and my cats aren't allowed near my costumes. And I love my cats dearly. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm a big animal fan, and I love them. Um, but they don't go anywhere near when I'm sewing, when I'm sticking things on, when I'm sequencing. Because cat hair gets everywhere, and I know that. But so the issue is that we have cat hair embedded in the actual silicon of the tail. With cat hair, customs could maybe have not let them through because there's animal product in the tails. So if customs had, for some crazy reason, picked up the fact that there's cat hair in it, or even if there was like a bug in it or something, we could have been in big trouble with that. Yep. Yep. So some of the things that we just want to mention that we love about Water Song Mermaid Tails is that one, the customer service is great. She was constantly talking to us. The second thing is that the seam, it's not seamless. Um, that's, that's just too hard to do and a pain in the butt, to be honest, when making them. But the seam is at the back rather than the side. So the thing I'm not fond about about my Mer Taylor tail is that the seam's on the side. It sticks into your legs. This is at the back, which means there's going to be that space between my legs that doesn't push against my flesh. And obviously it's hidden more when you're sitting down. The other thing I am, I'm a bit uh, about is that... <laughs> Um, I wanted a blended stomach. I know I'm a pale girl, I'm really, I'm really white, and I was like, you know, it just needs to be super light. She's literally just done it, like, clear. It's just clear, which I find, I find that funny, and I think it will, it will blend nicely, but I thought that was odd. Probably should have just been clear. I actually wanted it to blend from gold and have more orange, and have the top blending into orange, but I can spray paint that. Um, other thing I love about Water Song Mermaid Tales is, of course, that when I did request that I wanted special paint, pigment, she was happy to do it. None of us are sure if it's going to work, and I was fine with that risk. I think it is going to work. Um, this is the most beautiful tail I think I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot of silicon tails. And for a tail that was a budget price tail, and this was a last minute, like, oh my god, I suddenly have to pay money for a tail that I wasn't originally going to buy. This is just, this is a piece of art. I'm, absol I'm absolutely in love with this tail. This one, in her photos on Instagram and so forth, her tails aren't very vibrant. And the tails that I personally saw when I went to Florida myself were not very vibrant. But this is nothing like what it looks like in photos. I don't know how it's showing in the video, but it's bright electric blue. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And the gold on her fins is just lovely. Oh, I have a turban. So I'm going Let's make this like a cover photo on Facebook, guys. Like a picture of them. Or us next to them or something. I have this turban thing that oh I wore to Mardi Gras years ago. And I sort of like... Oh, I remember that. So the rainbow one was just a tail that I was going to get because it matches the logo for my company. Because originally it was like a light pink colour and this girl pulled out. And then I was short on money. So she messed us around a bit, but um... Oh, sorry. You know, guess what? Now like... I think I'm liking the rainbow one a bit more than my black one, but the black one's going to be for more underwater stuff, and this is probably going to be the one I wear <laughs> for like yeah. live events. Yeah, oh. I didn't think there was going to be symmetrical, but it actually is looking symmetrical, so it's good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, re it's a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be too, which is good, because yeah. I was worried about the brightness of all the colours. Yeah, that's right. It's looking good. And I'm really impressed with... Millie's, Millie's fins are attached the best. Yeah, look at the look at the colour on the gold, how it blends. I really and her like white that. is more pearly or something? Yeah, yeah. it's um, like opalescent, sort of pearlescent, especially in the, the middle. Iridescent, I can't say Iridescent. That. Yeah. Iridescent. Cool. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know how you end unboxing videos if you're doing it as a group. Bye. <laughs> I don't know, I sort of feel like Joel should come and... Get yeah. in this one too, considering he's a official partner. Josh, come get in a tail! Josh, this is Millie's Mer Wrangler. You've all, most of you have probably met Joel, my little, my little Mer Wrangler. He's holding the camera. He's hating me right now because I spent all my money on fish fins. <laughs>
This is. We need four people to sit in them. So be a mermaid. Make waves. Woo!